YouTube can be a bit of a struggle for artists. Most artists, myself included, kind of just want to sit down, bury our heads in our sketchbooks, or pull out our paint and forget about what other people are doing. But making videos for YouTube or Instagram, TikTok, whichever platform you want to talk about, making videos introduces an audience from the very beginning of the creation process, which massively complicates things. With that said, I also think artists tend to really undervalue what YouTube can do for you if you want to make a career doing art, so here's a bit of my experience from both sides. Self-promotion is something most artists are pretty notoriously bad at. Look, most of us don't even like our own drawings all that much, right? So how are we supposed to turn around and then sell it to someone if on the inside we're secretly cringing really hard at how bad it looks? Lucky for us, this is probably YouTube's single greatest strength from an artist's point of view. You can upload your first video and potentially reach thousands of people from day one. It's not a guarantee by any means, but it is absolutely a guarantee that that won't happen on Instagram or Pinterest. YouTube's growth as a platform is really deeply embedded with the growth of its creators. There's a 55-45 revenue split here, which is unheard of anywhere else online, first of all. But second of all means that whether you're a big or small creator, if you're making good videos, it's kind of in YouTube's best interest to show your stuff to as many people as possible. If your first video is entertaining enough to pull 5 million views, that's a lot of money they'd be missing out on if they didn't give you a fair shot, right? Compare this to Instagram or Pinterest again, there's no real reason for either of those platforms to promote you equally with their biggest creators. The way they make money isn't tied to your growth. Not to demonize those platforms too much though, image only platforms are really nice as well, and if I want to show off a painting I made, YouTube isn't really the best place to post a PNG. The other massive bonus that YouTube has though is that the value of a view on YouTube is far higher than the value of a view on most other platforms. If someone sits down and watches you draw for 5 minutes, it means they're really invested. Like, think about this for a second, if someone posted a 5 minute video on Twitter, would you ever watch that from start to finish? I mean, maybe some of you freaks would, but that's not what the platform's designed for. It's designed for constant activation of the monkey brain reward loop. If you post a picture to Twitter or Instagram, most people spend a second or two at most looking at it before moving on. Even if you get a thousand likes on that post, comparing that to YouTube where a 5 minute 500 view video is going to have at least 10 hours of watch time on it, that's way more time that people are spending staring at your art over here. The way people engage with the videos here is just so much more deliberate, so every comment you receive, every subscriber you gain is way higher value. On that note, every now and then I'll see an artist post a really great video that pulls in the hundreds of thousands of views, and then they'll follow it up with a video that only pulls about 50k. It's super rough going from a number that huge, only to drop down to what feels tiny by comparison, because whenever you reach a new height like that, it feels like that's the new standard. It's really hard not to feel a bit dejected after that. But here's the thing I think a lot of people often miss. If you've pulled 50k views or 5k views or less and that's considered a flop now, it actually means that those people who have stuck around are pretty right or die, right? Like they're not going away, they're invested in your journey now. And this is first of all super flattering as an artist to have people care that much about your work in the first place. But also if you're trying to make a career out of it, these are the people who want your prints up on their walls or who want to support you over on Patreon. Once you've built an audience here, that audience is here to stay. Even if you don't upload for ages, I mean just think of the creators you follow, right? I don't care how long it takes, when Lemino, Michael Reeves, Cynics, or Jaden Animations upload a new video, I'm there instantly whether it's been a week or a year since their last upload. All this to say, when I see artists here go from a really big success down to a complete and total failure, I think it's largely an issue of perspective because the people that stuck around have to be really invested to have come back for more. I'm of course talking a lot from my own experience here too. Some of my videos I've poured 40 or 50 plus hours into, so seeing those pull less views than this one which is my current biggest, yeesh, on a bad day that hurts a bit. But that kind of just means I need to take my own advice more, right? So to those of you that keep showing up and leaving comments time and time again, uh, a big thank you and bye bye!